Oh, oh, oh. I haven't made a vid in a minute. Damn, it's cause I'm sad. Going through a lot right now. There's a lot on my plate, but I'm sorry for the wait. I'm back. Damn. Yo, what's up? Today, we're making a track like Tyler, the creator. I'm going for a potato salad type of vibe for the track. Tyler Gregory Okonma, also known as Tyler, the creator, is a rapper, producer, director, fashion designer, creator, hailing from Ladera Heights, California. Growing up, Tyler was always fond of aesthetics, music, and art. Even before making music, he would make imaginary cover arts and track lists for imaginary albums. On top of that, he taught himself how to play the piano and the drums by the time he was 14. A few years later, he started making music with his friends Casey Veggies, Haji Beats, and Left Brain and ended up making the collective Odd Future. Things really took off for them when Tyler dropped the video for Yonkers. Tyler spent the early half of his career basically shunned from mainstream media for his controversial lyrics and imagery in his music videos, even to the point of being banned of entering certain countries. But since then, Tyler's been changing the way he carries himself in the spotlight, proving that he has much more to offer than just shock value. His last album, Flower Boy, was Grammy nominated, and he worked on the soundtrack for the latest Grinch movie, so that's pretty cool. A lot of the beat was actually produced by my friend Atlas, and he has a video up on his channel on the parts that he made. Also, he's been an inspiration for a few of my older vids, so it was pretty dope that he asked me to collab. Shout out to him, I'll have the channel and his video linked in the description. I hate this channel. No! No! Atlas sent me the melody, and all I really did was EQ some of the lows out and added some drums. I also put a swing on the kicks to about halfway and then sent them to the piano roll so I could change the velocity of the accented kicks. Tyler's more recent tracks like Potato Salad, Bronco, and even What the Fuck Right Now shows Tyler through the eyes of a businessman as well as an artist where he talks about bossing his life up and really expressing your own originality. He also raps a lot about his personal belongings like his cars, clothing line, and jewelry, and he also frequently name drops people like his friends, idols, or other artists. Real talk, one of the many struggles an artist has to deal with when he gets discovered is that they're often put into a box, and their fans sometimes get upset when they deviate too far from what they're used to, which I totally understand. However, it makes it difficult for an artist to expand, experiment, and change over time. You have an artist put out a song that's successful, right? Yep. They have a song that's different. Oh, I don't, why are you doing that? Go back to doing that. I wish somebody would walk in the studio and tell Bosky, oh, you need to paint this again. Sure, sure. You would look crazy, because at the end of the day, this is your life. How somebody going to tell you how to talk about your life? Tyler has shown that he isn't the same edgy, outlandish teenager that he was back in 2011. Now, what about your lyrics? What about them? What are you saying in your lyrics? Nothing. Shit to piss old white people off like you. Is that right? I, feel, I just wish niggas would really chase their dreams and stop worrying about others' opinions and the thought of failure and just go. And I think that Tyler is a perfect example of an artist who is able to grow with his fan base rather than his fans outgrowing him. Mm. You know what that? Uh. Ayo. Jump out of bed, then I water my garden. Get my green up, trying to ball harder than Harden. Hold up, I beg your pardon. Who you think that you guarding? Cop that McLaren full price, I ain't trying to bargain. I was on the wrong path, but I'm making a detour. Rocky got the drip, cause he modeled for Dior. Hating on my blessings, nigga, what are you green for? I used to hide from book collectors looking through screen doors. It's all good, I'm making moves with investors. Talking with Elon Musk and whipping up in my Tesla, yes sir. Rocking Supreme fits real early. I'm a trailblazer, nigga, get me a jersey Ice around my neck and it's making me real thirsty And been ballin', making sure all my diamonds look real purdy, nigga